A bookstore got in 505 books. They got the shipment of books that they're going to sell in the bookstore. Of them, 127 were novels or stories, and then 252 were children's books, and then 103 were history and science books. And the rest were math books. So all kinds. Think of it this way. There's a total of 505 books. And then this much of them were novels, this many of them were children's books, and this many of them were history and science, and then the rest were math. Okay? What can we do with this word problem? What can we solve? And Matthew knows. Yeah, we can solve how many math books there were. And that's what we're going to do. To find that out, I'm going to first solve how many there are all those other kinds of books, okay? So we'll add all those other kinds of books together. The novels, and the children's books, and the history and science books. Let's find how many there are. Okay, here's 5 and 7, 12. And here's 8, and here's 4. And now, this many all other kinds of books. And the rest were, there's some math books, and then 505 books in total. So now we need to figure out how many math books there are, and I can use addition, I can make a how many more addition, or I can use subtraction. For example, the how many more addition goes like this. And here would go the number of math books, okay? But I can also subtract those two numbers to find it. Let me try that, like that. Hmm. Can you do that? While waiting for me to solve it, can you solve it real quick? Try. Okay, we are lucky. 5 minus 2 is 3. We don't have to regroup. And then over here, you can think of this as 50 minus 48, which is 2. So that was quick. Okay, so... 23 math books. Mike is 191 centimeters tall. That's pretty tall, much taller than what I am. And then Bob is 148 centimeters tall, which is shorter than I am. But there's no question again. What can we ask? Oh, Matthew has an idea, yeah? Matthew's saying that we can add those numbers. And that tells us, what does it tell us if we add those numbers? That tells us that if Bob climbs on Mike's head, then how tall are those two together, right? If we add those numbers. Right, Matthew, yeah, we could do that. Any other ideas? I mean, if we subtract those numbers, then what? Then we find how much taller Mike is than Bob, right? The difference in the heights. Let's do that. We're practicing subtraction, right? Again, try to subtract quicker than what I'm doing the problem. 1 minus 8. I can't do that. So, I will regroup. Leave 8 tenths here, 11 here, then 3, and then 4, 0. Okay, so Mike is 43 centimeters taller than Bob. Lastly, we have a tricky puzzle again, okay? Pause the video and try it on your own. Now let's see. Matthew, you want to try? Not this time. He feels lazy, huh? Some number minus 3 leaves 9. That must be 12. Okay, but 12 doesn't go here. 12 is after you have regrouped, you have gotten 12 here. So there must be 2 here. But, you know, it got crossed out. And then... There's zero here, so it surely got crossed out. Since there's zero here, what we're studying in this lesson is the zero tens thingy, where you regroup with zero tens. If you've noticed in the other problems, we always have this pattern of having ten and nine, like that, okay? When we are subtracting, when we're having to regroup from the hundreds all the way to the ones. So nine minus something leaves one. That's eight then. And then what goes here? I mean, whatever was here got crossed out because there was a regrouping. 
some number minus 2 leaves 2, so 4 must be here. But originally, of course, there must have been 5 hundreds, right? Did you get the same? It's a little tricky puzzle. Okay, well done with this lesson.